Today I'm going to help you get your Hue motion sensor actually into Samsung SmartThings, which is possible because this is a Zigbee sensor and it's actually battery powered, a lot like the basic Samsung SmartThings sensors that you're used to. Now, from Philips Hue, you're getting a few assets in the bag and actually this is a little magnetic component that helps you mount it on the ceiling and what you're going to find is almost the entire motion sensor is magnetic around the sides and of course on the back it is magnetic as well now you don't want it in this orientation this is the orientation you want it and then you're putting the screw through and into the wall and then you're putting the sensor on there and of course that allows you to take it on and off now you just saw me pull the battery tab and you will see some flashing lights after you do that if you don't you might have a dead battery but as soon as as you do that you can actually push the plus on your Samsung smart things application and then go to device and when you go into the search aspect of looking to add a device you can try and type in hue but unfortunately the motion sensor isn't there so what you're going to do is hit the scan nearby button in the app and eventually it will show up with a thing now you can rename that and I would suggest that you do that to something that you'll be able to identify I changed mine to hue motion and that's because we have to install what's called a custom device handler now the link is down below to this and what you're going to do when you get to this link is grab all of this code you don't have to do anything more than just highlight it like you're seeing me do and then copy this. Once you've done that, you're going to head to account.smartthings.com and this is called the IDE or the console basically. And this is where you can manage a lot of things. So you'll have to log in and then you'll get to this screen. Now I'm going to head into my devices right away. And as I do that, you can see I have a Hue Hub, but I also have a Hue Motion Sensor. Now when I go in there, the one thing that might tell you this is the right sensor again is that it says Manufacturer Phillips and that really helps us. Now when you go into Edit, there's actually an ability to change the device type and that's what we're about to do but what we have to do is go up to my device handlers and we're going to create a new one which is that button over on the right now we're going to hit from code and then you're going to paste in that code that you've copied then you're going to hit create and then there's one more button you have to hit here before you go too far and that's the publish button and when you choose that you have to choose for me now let's go into my list of device handlers again just to make sure that we did publish that and you can see it here it has been published it's ready to go so back to my devices and we're going to find that hue motion sensor and I promise we're almost done here we're gonna hit edit and you will find this new device type almost at the bottom and you're going to see it be called hue motion sensor so don't look in the middle here there's a whole bunch of devices that say hue on them nope it's all the way down at the bottom, Hue Motion Sensor. That's the one you're choosing. That's that code you just created. Now, if you wanted to, you could move it in groups and stuff, but I just hit update and now I have a device with some other components to it. You can see there's a little more information on this page. Now I'm going to change the name myself to Hue Motion Sensor. You don't have to do that. It's already called something in the application. And now we can see that we have an online device and you'll see over on the right, it actually says it's a cloud connection. And that is true here. It has to have internet in order for this to work. Now back inside the application, down at the very bottom is where the hue motion sensor is and when I long hold on it I get that little pop up and I can choose edit and then I can place it into a room now if you had placed it in a group in the IDE well it would already be in that room or group now 
I can go in just with a simple tap and see some data. So you can see the motion, the temperature, and the battery level. But I also have a settings option here. And there's motion, temperature offset, and the illuminance offset that I don't think is going to work. But the motion sensitivity allows you to set it high, medium, or low and you have a history to see the changes over time. Now what you're probably going to want to do is to create some automation off of this and I'm just going to create a simple one inside of smart apps and you can see I have the smart lighting smart app already but if you don't hit the plus and then you can choose smart lighting and we're just really going to turn on some lights with this motion sensor and I'm going to create a new lighting automation down at the bottom and then we're going to choose the devices that we want to control. Now I'm sticking this on my stairway and I'm going to turn on my lights with that. Now I have four bulbs, I have three on and off or three dimmer bulbs and a color bulb. So I could turn on or turn on and set the level or turn on and set the color on the one bulb. But I want to set the level and I'll just leave it at the dimmer level of 80%. You can choose whatever you want. Now we have to select the trigger. So I'm going to choose motion because that's what I have. You could select a number of other things, but that temperature is in here, unfortunately, for you to choose. We could get around that a different way, but that's another video for another day. Now, which motion sensors? I'm going to choose my hue motion. If you wanted to choose others, you could choose additional ones. Now, do you want them to turn on when the motion starts or stops? And do you want to turn it off after motion stops and then you get to choose for how many minutes. Now there are some additional options here so you could choose only during certain times if you'd like then this automation won't run when it's outside of that time period only on certain days of the week or the mode in Samsung smart things a switch or a luminance and then when you hit done you can edit the automation name so you could choose whatever you want here and I would recommend that you do choose something that's familiar to you so that you will understand what's going on here. So I've chosen stairs too because I actually already have a stairs automation with this sensor but now whenever I walk through that area you're going to see it show up in the application here. My hue motion will see the motion occur and then my lighting is going to turn on. We do have a ton of other tutorials for you and your Samsung SmartThings system all up on the screen right now. So go check out that playlist and get more done today. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And of course, don't hate, automate.